having destroyed already 30 out of the 35 hospitals in Gaza, they are now targeting Nasser Hospital, which, as I said, is one of the last um, operational hospitals in Gaza. And so people are basically now having to flee from there. So they haven't got to leveling this part of Gaza yet, but they're getting there though. You can hear the bombs in the distance getting closer and closer, no doubt, because they're going to level the whole place and kill as many people as they can and drive them out with starvation as well. So that's what's going on in Gaza. Now this was last Monday, the Australian newspaper, page five. Now this article is a story about, uh, believe it or not, a victim here in Australia of the war in Gaza. This, this is what the Australian media is reporting on. Before I show this article, I just warn you, it's, it's sickening, okay? It's sickening. And they're, they're making fun at the same time by presenting this as a supposed uh, serious story of a victim of the war. Couple rejects sperm donor, this guy, for being Jewish. Now, the caption at the bottom seals the deal. Perth hairdresser Jay Lazarus is devastated. He's devastated. Look at the man. After a couple, now they indicate that it's a same-sex couple, presumably two women, uh, terminated plans for him to be their sperm donor. And they walk back plans in another part of the article, water it down, indicating that this is just one big load of made-up garbage. Citing ethical challenges over the Israel Hamas war. Now here's the supposed message that they sent to Jay. And look at the bottom there, Queensland couple to potential sperm donor. Now that contradicts what they put down in the caption at the bottom. Plans, but it's now just potential. Well, that's not a plan. Most times it's all done anonymously. They do that for legal reasons. Now, occasionally a couple will get someone they know to make a donation, but there's normally an ongoing relationship there. But he's in Perth and they're supposedly in Queensland. So how do they even know who he is to send this message? Now, the wording in the actual message, well, you, you think they're PhD qualified scholars. Uh, listen to this. We are down a rabbit hole with the depth of our emotions and the ethical challenges. Oh, this is, this is gold. We don't have the capacity to navigate parts of your identity. So they don't actually mention that he's Jewish. He's just assuming it in this donor relationship. So we are respectfully ending this now. Now, let's just assume that all of this is is what the situation is. Why would they even tell him that? Wouldn't they just say, oh, listen, we're going to pass on yours. We've found another donor more suitable without going into the we don't have the capacity to. Oh, come on. Now, the only one identified in this is this character. So the, to me, straight up. This is just a made-up story. Now, he's posted, so I'm sure he put something on his social media that he got that message, but you don't know the identities of the of the women. Oh, that's, they're anonymous. Oh, of course, he should be anonymous to them. But let's just assume, say it actually happened. Let's just say they had these two women come on. They were uh, against the war. They got interviewed. And if they actually were, that's probably what they would do. This is our stand. And we were going to go with this guy. It was a couple of years in the making. But since October, that's broken out. We've decided as a, as a sort of a protest, we're not going with this guy. Now, even if all that happened, they were on the news, on, on the Today Show, being interviewed by Carl and whoever he whatever that floozy is he's got there now. And they had this big debate with him there on one side and them on the other. He'd still be going... Well, um, why are you well? Why are you reporting this anyway? Why, why not report on the thirty thousand people that have died, and not this hairdresser in Perth, who's uh, he, he's devastated. Uh, I mean, 
Because because these boys can't swim. They're not allowed to swim. Well, we're all supposed to look at this guy. Oh, come on, let his boy swim. Oh, dear God. See how they're making fun of the actual people that are dying by not reporting on them and, and putting this ridiculous... Oh, look, it's made up. There's no way this could possibly be true. Uh, but even, even if it was, uh, it'd be worse if it was, you know? It really would. Oh, I did not enjoy making this one. All right, that's it for this one.